like to language which you don't know at all, and you only know a little bit of something, and learn new words while you're using it. Um, okay, so uh, welcome to the day from me, and we're just going to introduce you to the individual kitchen. So this is the Italian digital kitchen. Do you want to say? Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and the English, uh, sorry, the French Digital Kitchen over there. Bonjour! <laughs> the French Digital Kitchen that's um, finished. Uh, yeah. Finish. Yeah. 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 Okay. And the German Digital Kitchen. Here, um, in fun. <laughs> <laughs> we've got English Digital Kitchen here. <laughs> and over here we've got the Spanish and Catalan. Buen día y bienvenidos a la cuina catalana. Buenos días y bienvenidos a la cocina española. I just also want to say my name is Anne, I'm from Newcastle University. I've just spent the last three years of my life living this project as a full-time job. So, um, yeah, and I also want to say we're, we're Newcastle are the leads on the project, but it's actually a project um, with five partners um, and it's involved quite a few members of different countries and uh, teams within. So we have the Italian team here from the Reggio Emilia um, University who are the Italian partners. Um, and so the Finnish kitchen is from uh, Helsinki University, but I can't say in Finnish. <laughs> um, Germany from Padua Born University. English, very kindly, Leah, who is a colleague from the German partner, uh, is going to be doing the English kitchen for me because uh, and, and then it's the Autonomous University of Barcelona, which is part in Spanish or um, so, so really the, the, the materials that you see are the result of us working together to sort of think about the learning, how they need to be, how we can combine technology, cooking and language learning together. So putting our heads together for that and then going off and actually creating the materials in our own countries, but still working together to sort of, you know, produce them as a whole. So. Um, I suppose I, I as the, just wanted to make clear that although we started the French Digital Kitchen in Newcastle, what we actually have today is the result of all of us uh, collaborating, because that's what it's about, uh, to actually produce the, the pedagogical model for those of teachers that are interested in, uh, and around the project. So yeah, but I just add that in as well. So. Yeah. Great, thanks very much. So uh, the first thing we need to do now is have a look. Do we learn language? 
because I have zero knowledge. So I had to use the help of a lot. But the idea to combine technology with the language, learning language and the cooking, it's outstanding. I like it very much. Great. What about you, Ivan? Ivan? It's been very good. Yeah. Um, you like you know, it? Yes. Cooking has always been a way of communicating yourself, so now you actually are able to learn a language too. So it's great. Thank you. Glad to enjoy it. Say potatoes, peruna, and uh, carrots are porcana. No, porcana. Right. I have to pronounce it right. Uh, and I'm just about to add the lote. Yeah, into the cat, cat, uh, something. Cut your yes. Cut your <laughs> into the pan <laughs> to carry on boiling. Mm -hmm. and this will be a beautiful soup. It smells very nice, I have to say. It does, and it will taste very nice too. Mm -hmm. It's ready. <laughs> and what about your interaction with the with the kitchen with the tablet? I think it's a very handy system because. My, me myself, I would like to use it, you know, be handy instead of having to touch the screen with greasy hands. It would be good to just have that little thing and wave it to say I'm ready for the next step, for instance. Mm -hmm. And um, it's helpful, and especially to learn it in a different language. I've been able to manage, even though I didn't know Finnish at all. Um, yeah, it's been very good to, to be able to see the picture and to read. Helps. So, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Welcome.